Dear Heavenly Father, we want something anointed, not annoying. <laughs> As you know that the joy of the Lord irritates those who try to obtain joy by their faith efforts. <laughs> They're like, I have faith, brother. I have joy. I got the fruits of the Spirit. You know, they're manifesting their anger on you. you know? <laughs> oh, yeah, you sure do. I believe, brother. I believe here. <laughs> it's not in my heart or the substance. Hallelujah. Uh, I'm just making this video for a quick update. I've been, um, I've been uploading. You may, you might want to turn the bell off if you get notifications, because you'll get about 1,200 notifications within the next month because I'm uploading the Matthew Henry's complete commentary on the entire Bible. It ha it's like 800 hours long, and it has the entire King James Bible in there. And plus, this guy's he's a, he was a preacher. He was a, a spirit-filled scholar, demon-casting-out preacher, full of the Holy Ghost and power, and very revelatory. And so I've been sitting under Matthew Henry's ministry for the last few, about a week or so. And like, man, I can't keep this stuff to myself. This is gold. It's like that, like digging out the ancient wells or the, the vintage wine. It's all there. You can just let it play while you're sleeping. I did. Two nights in a row, I just press play on the playlist that I made, and I just I just let it play all night long. And it's you just go in these little journeys in the spirit. How how like how the depths of the layers of the Word of God are. Like he'll just take one verse and he'll talk about it for like half an hour, then move on to the next verse and talk about that for like you know 15 minutes, and then it just there's so many layers of revelation. And you could just drink it, up, drink it up, and as he just takes you on this journey through the scriptures, you just like, you end up getting blasted. You end up getting more hungry for the Word of God than you were when you before he pressed play. My wife has been just consuming the words. Uh, the, the, we have the Matthew Henry's concise commentary already fully uploaded on on the channel there. And uh, we'll be doing the regular videos too, like this one here. It'll be in the, I don't know where you leave it, like at the top of the video section. They'll be throwing them in there randomly, but most of them gonna be uploading these Matthew Henry's because I wanna go through the entire thing. I tried to go through it years ago and I got about 50 hours in and I was like so bored because I couldn't understand what the text-to-speech was saying. But now they got more modern text-to-speech. I got this, uh, I call him Pastor Alex. He's the text-to-speech living guy living in my computer. Because he's got a little bit of anointing on him, man. <laughs> Sometimes I'll be playing like some stuff and I get blasted. So I just call him Pastor Alex. He's past <laughs> He's just releasing the word of the Lord through my computer, man. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. So that's gonna. That's what's happening. I hope you guys had a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year and the joy of the Lord for the rest of your life, you know? Hallelujah. I'm just doing laundry right now. I just wanted to give you guys a quick update what's going on and where did, where did Chris go? And <laughs> Same place I've always been in Christ and heavenly places. But I'm just letting you know what's going on with the channel. You just turn off the bell. I know that it's kind of weird to say that because usually everyone's like, Smash that like button, you know, turn on the bell so you get notification. I don't, I could care less, man. I'm just, I just throw this stuff up, up there because it gets me blasted. I put it there for my own use. And sometimes I just like, I upload videos because I get blasted and I just want to share simple discipleship tips in the kingdom, you know. <laughs> this is what I do to get jacked up. I pray in the Holy Ghost and listen to this robot preach to me all day long, man. <laughs> Hallelujah. So. I gotta go flip my laundry pretty soon and uh, hope you guys are staying blissed. Hope you're still saved. <laughs> you got your fire insurance. You wanna know what fire insurance is? It's being full of the consuming fire of God. <laughs> Yo, that'll ensure your security, man. The only safe place in this world is in the Holy Ghost. It's in the consuming fire of God. You know, if you're not full of the Holy Spirit, what are you full of then? Flesh? <laughs> the demon? <laughs> yeah, we need to be full of God. Well, there's all these little tips and tricks that I just thrown into my website, or my website, my YouTube channel. And the, right now, we're in a, I'm in a season of just drinking the vintage wine. Just consuming the words of those who have walked the path before me. 
And uh, I'm really enjoying it. We're really getting blasted off of it, my wife. Especially if you just pray in the Holy Ghost. Because like you just like, you're not really, you're listening, but you're, you're listening for revelation. Like you're listening to the words, but you're looking past the words. You're looking past the robot for what's the depth of God. God, what are you saying? And that's the way you should always live. Like no matter if you're watching a movie, walking down the street, or just listening to a sermon, or just anything. What is the Holy Spirit saying? I watched a video recently on this uh, this Sid Roth, and this this lady was on there. I don't even know her name. I've never seen her before, and she was this. She had this intense hunger for God. And that God gave her a dream. He kept saying, "Linger, linger, linger, linger." And then she woke up and she's like, yes, Lord, I will linger. What does that mean? And then Jesus said to her, I reveal my secrets to those who linger in my presence. You know, come on. Moses was the leader leading everyone out of Egypt. He spent his whole time in the tent, in the manifest presence of God. Go up in the mountain, 40 days, 40 nights, and then he comes back glowing. And then he finds all these people in rebellion, smashes their idols, goes back up another 40 days, 40 nights. He didn't even have time for McChicken wraps. 80 days, 80, he's living off of the love of God, man. And so, and then it was time for him to, you know, to die because he smote the rock. He was supposed to speak to the rock, speaking of Christ, that, you know, he's already been crucified. So that all we have to do now is just ask for him for those living waters and we'll have it pouring out of our heart through relationship, intimacy. Speak to the rock. He'll give forth those living waters. And then he had to go and he went, he went and died. And uh, the next leader was Joshua. The reason he was the leader is because he would linger after Moses would he'd be preaching and teaching for the day and he'd go back into his tent. <laughs> Joshua would be like, man, the glory is so thick here. I ain't going back into my tent. What am I going to do in there? Going to play charades? Going to play, you know, what are dominoes? What are, I don't know what they had, kind of hobbies they had back there. Going to play my Nintendo 64? <laughs> he just sat there in the presence of God. Like, and then it was like that qualified him to be the next leader, to lead. You can't lead people out if which you're bound in, you know? <laughs> so he was already a soaker. He was a lingerer and he had the mysteries of God. He, angel of the Lord appears before him and you know, he's like, Joshua's like, are you for us or for, you know, <laughs> whatever. Anyways, I gotta, I gotta go flip my laundry. God bless your face with his grace this year, 2019. Yeah, I don't know, amen. <laughs>